Credit Repair, How to Fix Your Credit in Score 6 Months If you've been struggling to get your credit score up, you're not alone. A bad credit score can keep you from getting a loan, renting an apartment, or even landing a job. But don't worry there are things you can do to improve your credit score in as little as 6 months. The first step is to check your credit score and credit report for errors. Dispute any incorrect information on your credit report, and make sure that all of your outstanding debts are paid off. Keep your credit utilization ratio low by only using a small percentage of your available credit limit. And finally, apply for a new credit card to boost your credit score. Monitor your progress regularly by checking your credit score every month, and celebrate when you hit your goal. Check your credit score and credit report for errors. Your credit score is one of the most important numbers in your financial life. It's a key factor that lenders look at when considering you for a loan or credit card, and it can even affect your ability to rent an apartment or get a job. That's why it's important to check your credit score regularly and to correct any errors that may be dragging it down. You can get your credit score from a number of different sources, including credit reporting agencies and some financial institutions. Once you have your credit score, take a close look at it to make sure there are no mistakes. If you see anything that looks incorrect, contact the credit reporting agency and ask them to investigate. In addition to checking your credit score, you should also review your credit report periodically. This report includes all the information that's used to calculate your credit score, so it's a good way to catch any errors. You can request a free copy of your credit report from each of the three major credit reporting agencies once per year. Reviewing your credit report is a good way to catch errors and potential identity theft. If you see something on your credit report that doesn't look right, contact the credit reporting agency and ask them to investigate. Dispute any incorrect information on your credit report. If you find incorrect information on your credit report, it's important to dispute it as soon as possible. Otherwise, it could negatively impact your credit score. The credit reporting agency may not correct the error immediately, but they will investigate the dispute and make a determination within 30 days. If the information is found to be inaccurate, it will be removed from your credit report. You can also file a dispute if you believe an item on your credit report is incomplete or outdated. In such cases, the credit reporting agency may choose to update the information on your credit report. By taking action to dispute incorrect information on your credit report, you can help ensure that your credit score accurately reflects your credit history. Pay off any outstanding debts. Getting out of debt is a crucial financial goal for many people. Not only does debt add stress to your life, but it can also lead to high interest rates and late fees. Additionally, debt can negatively impact your credit score, making it difficult to get approved for loans in the future. Luckily, there are a few things you can do to pay off debt quickly. First, create a budget and stick to it. This will help you to free up extra money that you can use to pay down debt. Second, consider consolidating your debt with a personal loan. This can help you to save money on interest and make monthly payments more manageable. Lastly, make a plan and stick to it. Debt payoff requires discipline and commitment, but if you stay focused, you can be debt-free in no time. Keep your credit utilization ratio low. Your credit utilization ratio is the percentage of your credit limit that you're using. For example, if your credit limit is $1,000 and you have a balance of $500, your credit utilization ratio is 50%. It's generally best to keep your credit utilization ratio below 30%, but the lower the better. That's because a high credit utilization ratio can hurt your credit score. Lenders may view you as a higher risk borrower if you're maxing out your credit cards, which could lead to higher interest rates and fees. On the other hand, a low credit utilization ratio can help boost your score. 
So if you're looking to improve your credit standing, one of the best things you can do is keep your credit utilization low. Apply for a new credit card to boost your credit score. Having a good credit score is important for many reasons. It can affect your ability to get a loan, rent an apartment, or even buy insurance. If you're looking to boost your credit score, one of the best things you can do is apply for a new credit card. By responsibly using a credit card and making timely payments, you can improve your credit score over time. Additionally, using a credit card can help you build a positive credit history, which is another factor that lenders look at when considering loan applications. So if you're looking to improve your credit score, consider applying for a new credit card. With some time and effort, you can soon have the credit score you need to make all your financial dreams come true. Monitor your credit score and credit report regularly. Your credit score is a three-digit number that lenders use to assess your creditworthiness. A high credit score indicates that you're a responsible borrower who is likely to repay your debts on time, while a low credit score may signal that you're a higher-risk borrower. Monitoring your credit score is important because it can help you understand your creditworthiness and identify potential red flags, such as errors on your credit report. Checking your credit report regularly can also help you catch identity theft or fraud early. To get started, you can request a free copy of your credit report from each of the three major credit reporting agencies, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion once every 12 months. You can also track your credit score for free with some credit cards and mobile apps. By monitoring your credit score and credit report, you can stay on top of your financial health and catch any issues early. Increase your credit limit by asking your creditors for an increase. One way to improve your credit score is by asking your creditors for a credit limit increase. If you have a history of making on-time payments and keeping your balances low, most creditors will be happy to oblige. Not only will this give you access to more credit, but it will also lower your credit utilization ratio, which is one of the key components of a good credit score. And the best part is that you don't even have to use the extra credit, simply having it available will give your credit score a boost. So if you're looking for a way to improve your creditworthiness, asking for a credit limit increase is a great place to start. Celebrate when you hit your goal. Celebrating when you hit your credit score may seem like an odd thing to do, but it's actually a great way to stay motivated. After all, your credit score is a key factor in determining your financial health. By keeping track of your credit score and celebrating when you reach a milestone, you can help ensure that you're on the right track. Furthermore, sharing your success with friends and family can help to keep them motivated as well. So next time you hit a credit score milestone, be sure to celebrate. It just might be the best thing you can do for your financial health. Subscribe to my channel for more tips on improving your credit score.